Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand master's method. In our previous class, we have covered substitution method, which is one of the technique, one of the way to find the efficiency of recursive algorithms. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, we'll try to understand master's method and and this is very straightforward method uh, make a note of this uh, this uh, section of this uh, this 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 entire content by using this by using this con uh, content if the equation is of this form if the equation is of this form and if it satisfies certain conditions then by using this content you can get the uh, you can get the efficiency of the algorithm directly so and uh, this master's method is not useful for all the uh, recurrence relations but it can be used for certain uh, kinds of recurrence relations if certain conditions are satisfied and if it if the equation looks like certain things so then we can get the content uh, then we can get the efficiency of those recursive algorithms very easily and very directly no need to do the substitution method uh, uh, we can directly get that content so let's try to analyze this uh, uh, analyze this if here the thing is if t of n is equal to a into t of n by b a into t of n by b plus theta of theta of n power k log log power p log p log power p n means it is a log square log square n if this is the form it means that it is log log n okay so if if, if it is this if it is of this form it is of this form and a is greater than 1 and b is greater than uh, greater than or equal to 1 a is greater than or equal to 1 b greater than 1 and k is greater than or equal to 1 and p is a real number if p if this p is a real number here a here b and this is k if this is the case then and we have to follow certain conditions it has to satisfy certain conditions if a is greater than b power k then t of n is equal to theta of n power log a base b if a uh, if a the value of a is greater than greater than b power k if that is true then this is going to be the this is going to be the efficiency of that algorithm so we are going to solve lots of problems based upon this master's method so uh, with that you you will be easily understanding what we're going to discuss in this class just try to write this all the all this content you can easily understand the content if a is equal to b power k if a is equal to b power k and if p is greater than minus one then this is the equation and if p is equal to minus one then uh, t of n is equal to uh, n power log a base b log log n and if p is less than minus 1 then t of n is equal to theta of n power log a base b okay and the next one is if a is less than b power k if in this equation using this uh, uh, recurrence relation if the value of a is less than b power k b power k then and if p is greater than or equal to 0 then t of n is equal to n power k log power p n log log power p n and if p is less than 0 then t of n is equal to big o of n power k okay so this is this is all about master's theorem hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching